All right, we're going to try and do a quick recording. You'll have to excuse the audio. It's going to be shit. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so how to set up a PlayStation 1 emulator to run Silent Hill. That's what we're doing here. So we'll go into our PlayStation setup folder. Basically, all of these files will be downloadable via um, a link in the description, or I will have sent you the link, one or the other. Anyway, um, the first one you want to start off with is your EPS... XE205. That's the actual emulator. So let's go ahead and open that. What we're going to do is we're going to want to extract it first. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to put these uh, onto the desktop and we'll just play from the desktop. But you can actually extract these files wherever you want your, um, your emulator to live. So what we'll do is we'll call this the PlayStation emulator. And we're going to stick it onto the desktop. We'll keep it into its, its actual file, though. All right. And extract. Zip, zip, zip. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So now that we've got the actual emulator set up, next we want to close that extraction file. Next, we want to go back into our setup folder, and we will want to get a copy of the BIOS. Um, the BIOS is basically a file that they cannot legally send with the emulator. Um, you need this to to basically authenticate that. Uh, well, it it tells your PlayStation how to run. This is a, a must-have file. So what you'll want to do is you can extract it, and you want to extract this one file. Let's see. Um, we'll just extract it right here for right now, and then we can pull it out. And what I like to do is you know, go here. You have two. If you can get two windows going at once uh, over here. What you want to do is go into the BIOS. And it's got a folder in there called Erase Me. Let's go ahead and delete that because that is not a real BIOS. And you'll pop this into that BIOS folder. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm copying from the, the, the extracted folder that we had into the actual PlayStation emulator under BIOS. Uh, the next uh, the thing I like to do is go ahead and create a new folder within. I'll go ahead and close this because we don't need it anymore. I'll close that because we don't need that anymore. Blow that up. So we are, from our desktop, we went into our PlayStation emulator. This is the actual emulator, the EPSXE. Um, what I like to do now is create a new folder for our games. So we'll call this games. Pretty simple. Um, we don't have any games, though, because we just created that folder. So it's empty, correct? Empty. Empty bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of this preview pane. I hate preview panes. All right, cool. So now we'll go back over to our folder with all our software in it and we will open up Silent Hill and we want to extract this as well. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and and as you see this is a RAR file, so um, I assume you probably have WinRAR on your computer. If you don't, it is a free download. Granted it's a trial copy, but you can keep the trial going forever. Unless you win the lottery and then you can buy it. Anyhow, um, so what we want to do is we'll go ahead and extract this as well. We'll just extract it back into this folder too. Uh, yes, go ahead and just extract it right there. So as you can see, it popped it over, pulling out all the files that we need. And then you just take this and dump it into your games folder. So now we have a fully set up PlayStation emulator um, under EPSXE. Go in, we put our BIOS in, which is important, and we have stuck our games in, which are, you know, pretty important as well to play a game. So now what we want to do is we'll actually want to go into this setup. So if we go back, clear everything out, go to the desktop, I'll take a peek at our PlayStation emulator folder, go in there. This is the program that'll run it. And the first time it runs, it'll do what's considered a configuration. So let's go ahead and run that. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's go down to the wizard's guide. I'm not sure why this doesn't didn't automatically run this. Anyway, so this is a configuration stage. So first we'll go ahead and click config. And it's asking us which BIOS we would like to use. And we'll use a BIOS that is in there. Next. 
And now this is a part where it depends on what you have running in your computer. Uh, if you're running an NVIDIA um, graphics card, which is what I have in my system, then I would select the OpenGL2 GPU. Uh, this one comes from Pete's. Um, if you're using something else, you have these other options, I would probably go with this guy here. But honestly, I would give this one a shot first. If this doesn't work, then go back and try this one. So you can test it as well. Let's see what test does. Does test do anything? Nope. All right. Skipping on. So now we can configure the sound. There's only one option. We will go with it. And then for this one, uh, Windows 9X or ME, nope, nope, not using those additions anymore. We're not using XP or Vista either, but those are the latest options. So we'll go ahead and run that. Controller 1. Um, I don't honestly have a controller with me, but we can probably map this to be... Ah, see, look at that. They already pulled it all over for keyboard and mouse. Perfect. Start and selector V and C. All right, that's, that works for me. Now, if you do have a um, uh, controller that you can hook up, you could probably use an Xbox controller. Any controller really will work. Um, so here you can click in, and you can change it to whatever you want to change it to. I think it's that symbol. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to E, though, so I don't get confused, because that happens very easily with me. Click OK, and then we'll, he will hit Next. Congratulations, you have fully configured it. All right, now we want to run a test and make sure it's working. So let's see here. I believe the game file type was what? It's an image. All right, so since it's an image, we can run it as an ISO. Okay, it already popped into Silent Hill. That's nice. Now if it doesn't, if it pops you, if it asks you where your games are at, you can, you can click into games here. Go in there and then pick it from there. Bink, bank, bunk. All right. And now we are running Silent Hill. Let's see. Apparently it's a violent game. We'll just keep hitting buttons. I don't think any of these buttons are going to do anything, though. Let's just let it do its thing. There we go. Oh, perfect. Suck at games, so easy mode is my mode. Mm -hmm, that looks great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a loading screen, I'm assuming. Some Silent Hill on the PlayStation 1 on 